Uh, hey, everybody. Um, uh, Heels call about um, the uh, Pentagon. Uh, Mark Simmons on Pentagon brought up something from one of my favorite movies, a uh, analogy that I thought was pretty similar. Uh, are you, have you ever seen, uh, seen Clerks? Long time ago, yeah, yeah, long time ago. Yes, I look forward to seeing how this ties together. <laughs> I can't imagine. Okay. Uh, do you rem- There's a scene where the two main characters, Dante and Randall, are discussing the morality of blowing up the Death Star. Yes, Star yeah, exactly. Hmm. Well done. <laughs> you, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> one of, uh, I don't remember which one, uh, says that um, the Death Star in the, and the second Death Star was un, uh, technically unfinished, so a lot of the people on there would have been civilian contractors. And uh, were they really culpable in the, you know, in this military weapon that they were working on? And uh, one takes the position that they they weren't, and that there was a slaughter of innocents. Then a contractor happens to walk up in the middle of the conversation. And relays a story about how um, a buddy, a fellow contractor friend of his, had gotten a had gotten a job working on a uh, mob boss's house, where he whereas he had previously passed it up, even though it was good money. And his friend happened to uh, be working on the house during the middle of a hit against the mob boss, mm-hmm. and was killed in the in the crossfire. So the the question is. Are the I mean, not to say that no, I'd never say they deserved it, but they have to understand what sort of that they are putting themselves in the line of fire. That it is a big target. Right. It's to right. be. Uh, Any, it's a possibility, goes, right? It's, well, I, I think that the Pentagon. I think yeah. anybody would say that if 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 a an, an individual's government, if they're a foreign individual's government, if their government, if they view their government as a sock puppet for the U.S. State Department, that then the Pentagon uh, becomes a legitimate military target for somebody who moves into sort of a paramilitary world, from a civilian into the world of terrorist, which I guess terrorist is sort of a paramilitary individual, that the Pentagon is clearly a military target for those people. Now, if you work every day, I don't care if you're an accountant or janitor or secretary, every day at the world's largest legitimate military target, I think that um, – I, I think it would be hard to say that you don't really – I mean, you know, like there's <laughs> – you, you couldn't possibly see this coming maybe? Right. So, uh, yeah, and just removing the word deserve to say – like, uh, I, okay, let's – I would simplify like this, right? A contractor working on the house of a mobster who gets shot up, uh, the house gets shot up and he gets killed, that's a tragedy. What happened at the Pentagon, where you might have some civilian contractors? It's certainly unfortunate. The people probably right. should I don't have understood wish any you know, right. terrible violence on anybody. Mm-hmm. But these contractors working on something called the Death Star, they deserve it. <laughs> if you if if your project, if you're going to work every day at a place called the Death Star. Uh, you're culpable as far as I'm well, concerned. Well, wait a minute. Maybe they didn't call it the Death Star for their no, contractors. No. <laughs> but they already had a Death Star. They knew what it was. It was a replica, the I mean, old one. It was you know, bigger. Look, Star Wars is clearly rebel propaganda, and you know as well as I do that it was the peacekeeping star. Well, right. Maybe it was marketed <laughs> differently to the people oh, who were helping. That's right. Maybe just yeah. the rebels called No. Maybe just the rebels called it the Death Star, but right. I thought I remembered the people on it calling it the Death Star. And you know what? Those darn rebels... They circumcise their women. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 